Pip and Monique here for AFTV and I'm joined by the legend, ex-England and Arsenal legend, Faye White. How are you doing? I'm very good, you? Good, thank you. How's the World Cup been treating you? How are you enjoying it? Um, yeah, loving it. Um, can't complain, can you, when Women's World Cup being shown all around the world like it has been. Um, some of the games, some of the decisions, some of the performances have been great. And obviously England, nine points from yeah. three games a is, is a plus, isn't yeah. it? So we've not done that before and yeah, we now face another tough game against Norway tonight. I believe this is the big one. I feel like this is the real test for the Lionesses. So you've been in this position before, 90 caps for England. How do you think the players will be feeling before this game and how will they prepare for this game? Um, well, the first game gets on and that's when you get your nerves and everything out of the way. Once you've passed that, it's, you know, you take every game as it comes and you're excited. And the further you go, um, there is that, when you obviously reach the knockouts, that whole thing of, you know, tonight I might have to pack my bag and leave. Yeah. But equally, the desire and the want of not having to do that and, you know, the sense of there'll be knowing that it's a bubble that you're very much in when you're in, uh, in camp and in the tournament itself. But they will hear from their families and friends the coverage and the excitement that back home is you yeah. know getting to you know back to supporting them and seeing them reach this level and willing them to go on so they will know about that and that will give them that extra kick and you know drive to to be performing and doing well in this game well it's two attacking sides now and i feel like this is a different game for them all in all how do you think phil never will what does he have to do to get that winning edge over over the noise um, well, it'll be fine margins, won't it? And it will be about concentration and um, performing at your best. You need, your, you know, more of their play, more of our players than their players actually peaking and playing well um, tonight. Um, but also the tactics of, yeah. you know, clever, can we be clever from set pieces? Can we be switched on when they've got set pieces? Not switching off in key moments. Um, obviously, with VAR, there's that whole situation of having to stay switched on. Why decisions might be, you know, um, looked at or checked and. Um, but equally, we have players like Ellen White, Frank yeah. Kirby, um, Jill Scott, who can unlock defences. Lucy Bronze, who's just well dying at the back. Yeah, yeah. You know, she's you've got so much confidence um, and you know ability in her to produce something as well. Um, and obviously, we hope Steph is fit and can be playing. And we ultimately, you want your best team to be put out today. But yeah. equally, he's got. Um, more than ample you know, replacements if we need to at centre-half. Speaking of replacements, one of our own, Leah Williamson, it'll be, we, she's had a few minutes, but would it be nice to see her in a game like this? Or Is it, is it her time yet to play in such a big game in the World Cup tournament? Um, well, you, you have to take the chances when they come, don't you, at that age? Um, and she would be desperate to. Of course you are, you go. Um, and as she has the ability, she shows week in, week out for yeah. Arsenal that she can more than cope with top foreign players up against her. Um, she has very old head on young yeah, shoulders, yeah. you know, so she is, um, and she's had amazing experience through youth ages and the, the, the uh, kind of responsibility of leading those young age groups as well as captain. So she, if she's needed, she will do, I'm quite confident that she'll go in and prove a lot of people wrong um, yeah. and show, hang on, I'm here now as well. Um, so yeah, I'm quite confident that she can have a good World Cup. I know I keep speaking of the pressures of the game. But as you've been there before for big games in big tournaments like the World Cup and for big games for Arsenal, what would you be doing now to prepare yourself for a game like this? Um, well, it's, it's all the little details, you know, the things that you're eating yeah. in, in after recovery of the last game, the way, you, you know, ice bathing, getting your massages, training, getting your rest time in between different meetings and things that the, club, the, the team will be having. Um, and it's also your, your mental you know, preparation. Um, some players do it by chatting a lot to each other, going mm -hmm. in each other's rooms. Some like to, you know, withdraw and maybe go through rehearsal in their mind about how the game work might plan out and yeah. look at the stats on the players that they're up against. Watch the videos. I'm sure Karen Barsley will be looking at who's taken penalties yeah, and what yeah. have you, and you know how are their set piece work out and stuff like that. So. It's, there's so much more technology and um, resources available to players now to, to improve themselves and kind of cover all angles. But things like hydration, it's important. You don't realise when, if they're going to be playing Especially in heat. Especially that heat, yeah. They're going to, you know, your body sometimes in a major tournament, because of the extra nerves, um, and even though you don't feel it, you just think, well, actually, I'm handling this quite well. Your body can sometimes get to that stage yeah. and be getting cramped, and you'll be like, well, I never, you I know, know yeah. I, I experienced that. And you think... I, you know, I haven't run, or it doesn't feel a harder game so much today, but I am, it's because of the adrenaline and everything yeah. leading up into the game. I hear that they're training in extra layers now, in the heat. Is that a good tactic or no? Uh, well, <laughs> Is it something you've done yeah. before? Well, I'm sure the, the, you know, the exercise scientists and everyone have done the research yeah. in that, and I know from our day they were always quite meticulous in, in that, and yeah, you need to experience it. Um, yeah, well, before 2011, 
um, no, before 2007, actually, World Cup in China. We yeah. trained in Macau, and we were playing in, like, 30 degree wow. plus heat. And you, it was almost a test of who can cope with it. Yeah, and who, yeah. you know, I remember Hope, our, co- our coach, actually said, does anyone want to come off now? We were playing a game against some uh, Chinese boys team. Yeah. And it was almost like a mental test to see who could handle it or yeah. not. And everyone was, like, desperate to, but going, no, I want to, be, I want to play. <laughs> I'm you know? dying inside, but so, I'll stay yeah, on. <laughs> it was almost to the point where you got so hot that you actually felt cold and you start wow. shaking because, you you know, but it was, like, just got to push through it because I, I want this so much, you know. So, yeah. But, yeah, they obviously have different tactics and what have you, but they'll be preparing in the best way they can. Well, the Lionesses are doing amazing at the moment. They're showing strong mentality, especially after the game against Cameroon. But who has been the standout players for you, not only in the Lionesses team, but in the whole tournament? Um, well, Lionesses, uh, we have to go with Ellen, really, don't yeah, you? Yeah. And right up front, um, former gunner. <laughs> um, and certainly, you know, my little sis, I used to call her when oh, I played with her because same name and everything. Yeah. But, um, yeah, she's been qualities, considering some of the injuries she's come yeah. back recently and had times out from the England team. Um, so her desire to get herself back and to then produce those performances and when the moment, you know, literally every chance she's had, she's almost scored, hasn't she? So um, she has had a fantastic World Cup. Um, I think Jill Scott as well yeah. in the field because it's often that, you know, ugly, not that she's an ugly player, she's not, but there's the work rate and the yeah. cha- tackles and the ugly side of the game that often will mean the ball lands to one of our players or she'll do a run because she'll the energy that she has to free up some space for another player you know so um just because i know what she's done for the team in the past yeah. i want her to be highlighted and to show how you know vital she is for the team and um, for other players um for france i would say Henri for yeah, the captain course, yeah. because you think the expectation on their team and then on our obviously on her shoulders to to perform as well and she's come up with some big goals for them too and she's so influential in the way that they play. Um, and then looking at America, obviously everyone goes Alex Morgan. Yeah, yeah. She, I mean, five goals against Thailand, I'm like, she should score them. Yeah. So I'm not going to... I think, like, um, Tobin Heath on the right is a real threat. And um, Rose Lavelle in the middle, I've been quite impressed with her too. But, nice. I mean, you could go on all day. Yeah, I know. There have been so many key players that's really yeah. done really well throughout the whole tournament. But it's so nice to see a big audience, audiences across the world watching the women's game. And last year we saw the whole nation get behind the England men's team where there were so many screenings around the UK and everyone was supporting them. Yeah. Where can everyone watch the Lionesses tonight? Yeah, well, I'm going to be in a pub in London, the Green King pubs, um, one of their pubs in the George, it's called. Yeah. And they've got some massive screens like we saw last year, yeah. you know, where people can come together as a community with their friends to get out and it kind of experience the same atmosphere you would get at a game, but obviously not out in yeah, France. Yeah. But that kind of replicate it the best you can and I'm going to be there and obviously with some fans yeah. and I'm going to get that kind of fan experience and it's going to be uh, really exciting to kind of just see it and cheer you know them on with everyone um, but it's about that isn't it it's trying yeah. to replicate the same kind of environment and feeling that we have when we support the men exactly to the women because actually the women they could go and win it you know it's <laughs> coming home <laughs> it's, you know, it's a real good opportunity yeah. but yeah it's uh um, good that you know Green King pubs are actually I think it's a thousand of them yeah, are, so are showing the game over the country so it's it's over the whole country so if you just go and find your local, your local one, one yeah, exactly. and everyone can but I'll be going to the one you're at because yeah. I want to watch the game with the legend yeah, right. we had a radio interview with Chris Evans earlier and he said he might be there yeah, so, so come, come along come down to the Green King's pub guys and you can watch the game get in the spirit and uh, just cheer on the ladies the lionesses yeah it's been a pleasure talking to you anytime so thank you for coming on AFTV no problem thank, thank you, you.